Hello everyone, I am going to show you how to install NetBeans with JDK. So before installation, uh, let's check which operating system is installed in my PC. So right click on this PC and you will see properties. Click on these properties and you can see system type 64 bit operating system. So I will install NetBeans for 64 bit operating system. Next open your browser uh, I'm going to open Google Chrome and in the search box search Java JDK with NetBeans so you will see JDK 8U triple one with NetBeans 8.2 Oracle so click on the first links I, and you will see this page and here you can see accept license agreement click here and here you can see a list of installation files over here so I will choose the installation file for Windows 64 bit operating system so click on this file and you will see the downloading is already started so I have already downloaded the file so I will pause it and I will go to my downloaded folder and you can see the JDK Windows 64 bit operating system is already downloaded so double click on this file click yes then click next I'm keeping this default path click next also I'm keeping here the default path click next I don't want to check for updates so um, I'm checking it and then click on install so it will take a little bit of time So now uh, we can see installation completed successfully. So I will uncheck this one and click on finish. So after the installation is complete, you can see the NetBeans on desktop or you can search the NetBeans using the search box NetBeans. So you can see NetBeans is already here. So click on this one. After opening the NetBeans, you will see this window and if you click file, you can see new project, new file, open project. So I am going to create a new project. So click on new project and you can see there, there are some options over here. So I will select Java because I am going to write uh, Java programming. So I am keeping it default Java Then click on next. And this is the project name you can uh, uh, write any name over here this is the project name and here is the project location you can change the location also and this is the create main class it is already checked so if you check it then uh, uh, a main class will be created automatically uh, so I'm keeping it here as well then click on finish and it is creating a new project so here is the window over here so here you can see the java application one this is the project name and here source package 
java application one so inside the package we have one file that is java application one dot java file so extension of java file is dot java so here is the java application one dot java so here you can see the package java application one and the class name is java application one so we know uh, in case of java programming the file name and the class name should be same so java application one and java application one so inside the class we have the main function we have the main method so here is a comment to do code application logic here that means we need to start coding from here so i'm going to print hello world system dot out dot print hello world so i'm going to print hello world so after completing uh, the program we need to run this program so here is the uh, run option so you can also run uh, using this option so i'm going to use this option run so when i will click on this so it will start running so you can see job application one run so after completing uh, the running you, you will see hello world so this is the output hello world so in this way we can uh, create new project and new file and you can uh, uh, write your java programming over here and you can also run the program and see the output in the terminal thank you everyone